COVID-19 relief funds from the federal government are starting to become available for local governments. And in Wichita County, they still have about 20 of the $25 million available and will look to improving infrastructure for all residents. Zach Verdia shows us how they hope to expand water access throughout the county. Wichita County covers a lot more than just Wichita Falls. From Electra to Burke Burnett and on, 633 total square miles. And an issue many still deal with, water. There's a lot of residents in Wichita County that don't realize how many other people in the county don't have running water. So Wichita County Commissioners, thanks to $25 million in federal relief funds through the American Rescue Plan Act, plan on using that to improve infrastructure. Five million of those we've pretty well obligated. Um, then we ought to be able to spend a significant portion of money on helping the water. They hope to not only continue upkeep, but with the help of the Wichita Valley Water Supply Corporation, expand water access to many more. We're thinking, one, we can improve what is there, plus add on to it uh, for people who are not being served that have been hauling water for years. One of those hauling water for years, Precinct 2 Commissioner Mickey Finn Cannon, and he knows the struggles that come with it. Inevitably, something always goes wrong. You have flats on your trailers, your tanks get leaks in them, your water pipes bust, your water pumps break. There's always something that happens when you're, a, when you're out in the country and you have to haul your own water. So he definitely doesn't want to waste any time on an issue that could make a difference for generations to come. In my lifetime, I can't remember a better opportunity for funding supplied by the government or the county to be spent on infrastructure for county residents. This right here, in my opinion, is, is almost as big a deal as when electricity was coming to this area. It's not just to, to give them water, increase their property values or anything like that, but it's a quality of life issue. Zach Verdia, KFDX 3 News. Wow, this could be a really big deal for those residents. Zach, thanks so much.